Hey guys, Michael here from Dapper Raptor. So I'm just doing a video to go along with a bug fix I've just pushed to Epic. Hopefully it'll be available in the next couple of days. But I wanted to explain how to implement the bug fix yourself and how it works um, for those interested. So the issue is from 4.17 onwards, um, and this wasn't happening, but it started to happen. So I'm not sure if it's a result of a GPU driver update or what's changed, but for some reason this is occurring here. So stuff that's hidden behind is getting cold and that's affecting the custom render depth now as far as i'm aware this shouldn't be happening but it is so we're gonna fix it so uh, i'll show you working here i've just moved the spawn point so it's a little bit easier to test you can see in the fixed project we've got it working fine so all we need to do is with the objects that are highlighted instead of turning so you're going to click on your object, go down to the rendering settings. It'll look like this rendering and expand that. And in here, that should be minimized. Uh, we've got render custom depth pass. Now in the implementation tutorial, I tell you to turn this off after turning it on. So you turn it on, set your channel and turn it off. Instead, you now actually want to leave that on. And the reason for that is that at the beginning of the project, if this is turned off, off that will cause the issue so if i fire this up you'll see that the stuff behind it will work but this button is actually gonna glitch like that so for some reason the engine is taking the state it is at begin play and applying that as if that's permanent so leave it turned on instead and what we want to do is in our survivor vision manager we actually have a new little bit here to do it now i've set this up on a toggle so that in your not character in your controller if you want to override this and turn it off um you can just do so uh fix occlusion culling here so you can just turn that off and that won't do it and i'll explain why you might want to do that in a second but all we're doing is we're going through getting every single actor that uses the highlight tag and for each one we're getting any instances of static meshes they have and turning the custom render depth off so I'll include a screenshot in the description below of this, or you can just pause the video there if you want to implement it yourself. I'm doing this in the initialize event on uh, Survivor Vision Manager, and I'm doing it just after the delay. <clears throat> um, now, the reason you might want to turn this off and do your own solution is that this is going to have to poll every single actor in your scene, check if it has the tag, and then run this. That should be fine for most uh, games, especially once you've got your game optimized and all that sort of thing. And we are doing it on the begin play, so this would all be hidden behind a load screen or at the very least at the very beginning as you're fading in or whatever it is you're doing in your game. But if you have a very complicated scene or you have a lot of actors with the highlight tag or a lot of actors with a lot of meshes in them with the highlight tag, that sort of thing, you might want to uh, disable this and instead do this yourself through blueprints. Um, so what you could do is you could put any actors that you need to highlight inside a blueprint that automatically turns it off at the beginning. It doesn't have to do this stuff here. Um, you can just go through and on begin play, so you do something like grab this one. We don't even have a begin play. So inside your actor blueprint, you would just do this and you would plug in any meshes into the target there. And that's all you'd need to do. So that would be a solution where you would want to turn this off. However, this is a very broad fix that should work for most instances. So I've just done it this way. That should be available. Hopefully Epic will uh, sort that out soon. Just leave. Um, and that will be available via the marketplace. So if you run into any other further issues, please let me know and I'll get onto them. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching and catch you later.